Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be transforming the house for fall 2023 and I'm so excited you're here. If you're new, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I'd love to do all things homemaking and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful day. Okay guys. Monday, just got home from work, and I'm gonna do a little harvesting. I have not even looked in here since we got back from our trip. I'm seeing some logs in there. Oh my God, look at this one's giant. And got a giant one there, whoops. And a giant one there. Okay, we've got a lot to take out. So I am gonna do that. Um, Oh my goodness. And then over here, we'll get some peppers and get all my tomatoes. I think so yummy. We had rain all morning, but um, since then it's been fine. Oh my God, look at what, this is what the chickens do. Ink slot stinkers. Okay, I need to go put an apron on. All right, guys, let's get harvesting. I think I'm probably gonna make some tomato sauce tonight too. Peppers are coming in. It looks like my poblanos are done. Oh no, there's some more. So another flowering is happening. There's one down there. But we'll get this nice and harvested. Got some padrones here. Basil's happy. Mm, God, Thai basil smells so good. Okay, let's get to harvesting. We had the most lovely trip out to the coast. My father and I and our family traveled out to um, the Pebble Beach area and it was so beautiful. It's uh, kind of, it's really close to Monterey, but we did a car show for my son. That's what he got for his birthday. And we just had a great time. But I will tell you, this garden is totally overflowing with vegetables. I'm starting to do a bunch of research on how to, um, take everything out of this garden at the end of the season, let the soil sit, and then plant things for our winter garden. Now that I've had my first real season of growing, I realize the things that I really love. Next year, I'll probably do less tomatoes and they will be on the other side of the gardening area in the new beds that we're going to be building. And um, But for winter, I wanna do really great root vegetables. I wanna do onions, garlic, things that I really love, but I can also preserve. I've been doing a ton of research on preserving things as well as doing meal uh, prep, so freezer meals. As most of you know, I went back to work um, the, a month ago and it's just become all too, <laughs> too much for me to continue to do things the way I always have. The job that I currently have is a lot more demanding than the job I had previously. So I really do need to start to reprioritize my life, which is going to be some of the changes I'll share at the end of this video. Now that I'm done harvesting the garden, I want to head inside, wash up all of our vegetables and show you what we got.
I've been sharing my daily harvests with you guys over on Instagram. If you guys want to follow a little more closely, you can head over there to Mrs. Lauren Nicholson on Instagram. But now that I have everything inside, I want to process all of these tomatoes. So we're just going to get them all cleaned up. And then what I like to do is coat them in a little bit of olive oil. Sometimes I'll season them with some Italian seasonings, but for lately, I've just been processing them, roast them for about 20 to 30 minutes at 375. And then I actually just pull the skins off and I throw them in a pot and I've been making my tomato sauce that way uh, this season. I bet next year I'll do it differently. I want to just say thank you to so many of you who have given me so many great tips down below on how to actually garden <laughs> this year, but also um, how to freeze my tomatoes and really work on preserving the things that I make. It's something I didn't really anticipate, so I just wanted to say thank you for that. It has been a really big help for me, so thank you. The one small little thing I wanted to accomplish today was to finally get the front room decorated for fall. So I am going to um, grab some of the stuff that I've had from Balsam Hill for years. And then they also were kind enough to send me a couple new things, which I've already shared on my channel. So I'm really excited to see that all come together. If you are new to my channel, or if you guys don't remember, I always start fall decorating with an apple harvest. Um, it just reminds me of being a kid growing up here in Northern California. We live kind of close to Stockton. And if you drive through Stockton, it's like a sea of family owned farm stands and you get the freshest stuff. I, again, always share that on my Instagram when we go over there. It's one of my, I really love being over in Stockton and just being around farm country like that. It's different here in Napa Valley. Um, the wine industry is way different than the um, feeling and essence of being a part of a family farm. So I always like to start with an apple harvest and Balsam Hill has this beautiful uh, line called the Apple Spice uh, product line and it has like wreaths and potted arrangements, cornucopias, garlands, like you name it, they have everything. So I'm going to be decorating with that today and then, or tonight rather. And then the other thing I wanted to do was to finish um, kind of putting together my plan for the rest of the year, which again, I will share with you guys at the end of this video. But before we get decorating, I just kind of wanted to clean up in here and get rid of clutter and get ready for some fall decorating. Tell us in the comments down below, have you started decorating for fall? Now that I have all of our summer decor removed, it is time to transition into fall 2023. I'm going to start with my apple spice wreath. I have two of these. I have mine that I bought two years ago, and then I have the one they just sent me, which was so kind. But I will tell you, one of the reasons that I love Balsam Hill is I purchase things from them and I use them for years and years and years. They're like heirlooms to us. Um, I love their Christmas trees. I feel like every year I buy a new Christmas tree because they come out with more incredible stuff every year. But if you are looking to invest in beautiful pieces, whether it be for fall, Halloween, Christmas, spring, summer, you really should be checking out Balsam Hill. They have great sales. I'm going to be putting a link down below for up to 30% off plus free shipping. But these are pieces that you will have for years. They aren't pieces that are going to break, deteriorate, or 
come out of style. Like that's the one thing I find that, you know, we kind of went through a whole farmhouse phase and now um, I, I'm hoping we're getting into more of a traditional phase because that's what I really love. And so these are pieces that, that are very traditional and you can use for a lifetime, pass down to your children and grandchildren. They're just beautiful. One of the things I wanted to do is bring in a nice element here. I used to have olive trees on the sides of these chairs that I picked up from Amazon. They're always linked down in the descriptions below if you're interested, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to use these um, kind of twigs. I actually picked this bundle up from uh, Trader Joe's, I want to say four years ago, and I love them so much that I just, I wrapped them up. They're actual uh, grape leaf um, stems, so I love them. Some Sometimes I use them in the spring too and just put spring florals in here, but it kind of just adds that really natural touch. And then I'm going to put in some picks that I got from Hobby Lobby many years ago. I want to say there's only like, I only picked up two new things for fall this year. I feel rather uninspired to um, purchase anything right now, considering that we're going to go through a phase of, you know, remodeling this house. But um, for the most part, it's not going to stop me from decorating around the mess. I wanted to add the apple spice garland on top of the fireplace, again, just to warm it up. I feel like it just looked really bare and needed some extra love. So I had two of these, so I thought I'd add two up here and just really warm this area up. Lately, I have been having tea at night in here with the fireplace on. And it has been so cozy. I also have my pumpkin spice <laughs> candles going and everybody comes into our house says, oh my God, it feels like fall. It feels so warm in here. And it's just been so lovely. I love, I don't know if you guys can tell the amount of apples that are on this garland, but it, I'm just so impressed with this garland. And Ferruccio was too, so he wanted to come up and play with all of these the kittens in our house love to play with all of my decor. They used to not care at all, but for whatever reason in this house, they it's like a free-for-all. So um, that little garland has a bunch of twigs on it, so he wanted to play with those, so I let him. But I want to add some pillows to this chair. I love these yellow pillows, this window pane. Um, on the other side is actually Halloween, so I want to say these are... Um, Ray Dunn, but I'm just like, girl, thank you so much for making a pillow I can use all through fall and flip it over for Halloween. I absolutely love it. I think this turns out really beautiful. I found a lot, a lot of cute things over the years at Home Goods, so if you guys have a Home Goods near you, I highly recommend checking them out. didn't know exactly what I wanted to do on this large table so I thought I would bring in a bunch of the vases that I had in the garage and just kind of add some foliage to this area. I feel like it really rounds out the space but honestly until we totally gut this room and do the things that need to be done like we need a dining room here and we need a bunch of other stuff. 
So I'm just, again, feeling like just make it feel cozy and warm and like fall, but obviously can't go over the top in this space because it's a little bit hard to do. So I'm just going to add the foliage in here and just kind of, again, make it warm and speak to the other side of the house. These giant pumpkins are a new addition from Home Goods. They are part of the Martha Stewart line and I just love them. I really want to do more pumpkins, but we're going to stick with apples for this season. And then here in the other living room, I thought I'd just add a really simple garland. Again, I'm still using the apple spice by Balsam Hill. And then I have it, these two beautiful potted arrangements that I thought would be nice bookends for the fireplace. At night when we have the candles going in here, it feels so cozy and warm. And then I had an old sign that I got from Home Goods. I want to say like maybe five years ago. I thought it would add to the um, above the fireplace. And I'm in the process of trying to figure out what art I want to put over the fireplace. I know I definitely don't want to put a TV over it. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to know. But other than that, I'm going to just change out these really beautiful, um, I had some cherry blossoms in here, and now I'm just going to add in some beautiful warm picks. Half of these are from Hobby Lobby. The other half are that beautiful uh, orange, uh, the picks that they have at Target. They have them out again this year, and I absolutely love them. They're my favorite. I will try to remember to link them down below. I always say I'm going to do things, and then when I'm done with my voiceover, I totally forget. But I'll try to remember. Otherwise, just go to Target. You'll see them there. And these uh, little green pillows are also from Target as well. I get lots of questions and um, love and support about our dog, Chewy. He got just as inspired to get cozied up with this fall decor. Um, he is doing really well. Unfortunately, the um, what is going on with Chewy's body is not something doctors can fix, but they are. we just started him on a new regimen that keeps him comfortable and he's very happy. He's still eating and happy and jumps up in our bed and he's doing, he's doing the things that make Chewy happy. Um, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who's been giving us love and support, especially for Chewy because he was my firstborn and we love him so much. But here is how all of our decor turned out. It feels so cozy and warm in here. I love having the fireplace going. We've had some really cold nights recently and it's been so nice because this has been a strange season for us. We've had a rather cold summer and now we're starting to get into the 90s and 100s um, as we approach fall. But here's how the living room turned out. And I wanna add a couple more things in here. I will do in a later video, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Since so many of my priorities have changed and I am really excited about this season, my kids are getting older, becoming more independent, and I have found a new position at a company I'm really excited about. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not gonna be posting as much and um, I'm not really sure what the future of my channel is going to look like. I am going to continue to do cooking because I love that and most likely decorating, but I'm probably going to lean out of a lot of the other content that I have been doing for a while. I've been enjoying it. It's really fun, but honestly, I just really want to focus on other things in my life right now and not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. It's just not going to be um, so much content as it's been in the past. Thank you all to have supported my channel and don't forget to subscribe because we will have lots of cooking and decorating coming up for the rest of the year. I cannot wait to see you in the next video real soon. Bye.